Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. In today's class, I'm just going to explain to you using few examples on rational numbers. Let's quickly get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to define what rational numbers are. So rational numbers, these are numbers, these are numbers that that can be written that can be written in the form in the form a over b or p over q so in most cases uh, in some books they will use a over b and some books they will normally use uh, P over Q. So those are just the variables that are commonly used. So let me quickly um, give some few examples. So let me quickly solve some few examples. So examples. Okay. So the first example is express the following in the form. Express the following the following in the form in the form um, a over b express the following in the form a over b guys remember that these are must know topics which each one of us is supposed to know so the first one will be 3.3 .3 bar so the bar on top just simply means that this three is repeating itself. The second one will be um, 25.12 bar. And then the third one will be, the third one, which is C, will simply be 0 0.29432 bar, 432 Bar. so the bar is on top of 432 so let's quickly look for the solutions for these simple questions please make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and also make sure that you register with excel academy so the first thing that we are going to solve is the first one which is simply 3.3 .3 bar so the first step that you are supposed to do is you need to count the number of decimal points so count number of decimal places okay decimal places okay so if you look at the number of decimal places in this case we have only one decimal place meaning it has the multiple of what or the multiple we pick a multiple of 10 which is just 10 so we'll say let's x be equal to 3.3 .3 bar let x be equal to 3.3 .3 bar so from the first point you find that we counted the number of decimal places which i'm going to say dp is going to be one so we are going to multiply by multiple of 10 with one zero so we are going to say then you say 10x is simply equal to since we are multiplying 3.3 .3 bar times 10 this means that this decimal point will move another step so that means that we are going to have 33.3 .3 bar so here we are going to have 33.3 .3 bar why are we putting another bar another three bar so when you talk of a number which is written as 3.3 .3 bar this is the same as 3.33333. So the threes are repeating themselves until infinity. So when we put a bar there, it means that these numbers are repeating themselves. So upon doing that, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to subtract. So after doing that, we are going to subtract this, the, the one on top and the one down. So we are going to say then so what we are going to do is we are going to say 10x is equal to uh, 
0.3 bar minus you you subtract x is equal to 3.3 bar so when we subtract this work what are we simply going to have so what we are going to have is that we are going to say uh, 10 minus x 10x minus x it is 9x which is equal to and then this times that minus that is equal to 30. so once we have that what's next so the next step is we are going to divide the 9x throughout we are going to divide the 9x throughout so we have 9x over 9 is equal to 30 over 9 so that one and that one will simply go so x will simply be equal to you you look for a number that can go into both uh, numbers so 3 can go in both so you're going to have 10 over 3 so this is just a rational number so this is a rational number okay let me quickly go on the next one uh, so please make sure that you register with excel academy and also make sure that you subscribe to all our platforms which is on youtube facebook and also uh, our whatsapp so the next one i have is 25 um point one two bar so as usual we are going to say let x be equal to 25 point one two bar then we are going to count the number of decimal places so the number of decimal places here you are going to observe that we only have two decimal places two dp so meaning we are going to multiply by 100 so we are going to say uh then 100x is simply equal to which means 25 12.12 bar because one two is the one which is repeating itself so after we write that what are we going to do next so the next thing is we are going to subtract so we are going to say 100x is equal to 25 12.12 bar minus we are going to say x is equal to uh, what we had which was 25.12 bar so from there ladies and gentlemen let's quickly subtract and make sure that you register with excel academy and also you make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel so from here let's quickly subtract so when we subtract we are going to have um something like 99 x is equal to so 99 x is equal to this minus that is going to give us 2487 2487 so like we did we are going to divide throughout by 99 so we're going to say over 99 and they are also over 99 so once we do that what are we going to have next so we know that this guy and that guy they'll go so x is simply equal to um it's simply equal to what we have which is uh 24 87 over 9 so if we look for a number that can go into both this number and that number which is a 3 so we are going to have 8 2 9 over 33 so ladies and gentlemen this is the simplest notation that we can ever have so this is also a rational number so let me quickly solve the last one so please if you have any questions make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure that you contact me on the numbers that i'm going to give at the end of the class okay so the next one which is c so the next one was um 0 0.2942 uh three four three two sorry it was four three two so let me just quickly erase that and write the correct uh question so four three two and then the bar was there so when solving this one you need to be extremely careful you don't have to do what we did first so the first step is you're going to say 
let x be equal to 0 0.29432 bar so the first thing that you need to do as a student you need to count the decimal places which do not have a a bar on top so if you look at these guys there are just two of them so we are going to multiply by um by 100 so we are going to say then you're going to say 100x is equal to 29.432 bar so the first step when you have such a scenario make sure that you you get rid of those two guys and then from there you now go back to the same question and then this time around you're going to um you are going to count everything so you say one two three four five so you are going to say then you get a multiple of uh of 10 which has five zeros of which is just one hundred thousand x which is equal to everything there to go two nine four three two dot four three two bar remember four three two are the numbers that are repeating themselves so here is where confusion comes in so most students would go and pick the one in green and leave out that one or they'll pick this one and that one or this one and that one but the one you are supposed to pick this time around it is this one the one in blue and that one in white or gray so these are the two um two expressions we are going to use so we are going to say 100,000 x is equal to uh, 29432.432 bar. Then we subtract that 100 uh, 100x, which is simply equal to 29.432 bar. So when we subtract this, what are we going to have when we subtract? So let's quickly subtract the guys and see what we are going to have. So when we subtract, we are having something like 99900x, uh, which is simply equal to when we subtract the other side, what are we simply having? So we are having 29 four zero three so remember all these numbers you are not supposed to use a calculator so you just have to use your head so from here we're going to divide throughout by nine 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 hundred x sorry not x over nine 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 hundred like that so this guy and that guy will go and then we'll simply um we we'll simply make sure that these guys are in their lowest step so when we look for an, a number which can go into that one and that one when we reduce we are going to find that x will simply be equal to 1089 over um 3700 so ladies and gentlemen this is also in the form of a over b which is also a rational number so please make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure that you register with excel academy remember you can get in touch with me on positive 26 or 9658874474 or you can also get in touch with us on positive 26 or 9974 eight four zero six excuse ten ladies and gentlemen this was dr possibility from excel academy thank you very much for joining me have a blessed